In this video, I will show you how to add a Google Maps location like this to your website, which you can interact with. And I will also show you how to create a section for it as well. And it is going to be pretty quick. So let's get into it. Inside VS Code, I have this empty folder. I will create a index.html file and a style.css file inside the html using one exclamation mark i will create a boilerplate and link the style sheet let's change this to our location and let's open this file on the browser using live server inside the css file i will quickly reset the margin and padding for the entire page set the box sizing to border box let's set a font as well it doesn't matter you can pick whatever font you like so let's start with creating a section and inside this section we will have two elements which is going to be a box and the map right under it i will show you how to add the map in a second inside this box let's have a h1 our location and some text at the bottom. And now let's add the map right under it. So to be able to add a location into a HTML file, you need to open up the Google Maps and search for the location you wanna add. In this case, I will pick a random location, let's say Manhattan. After you search for the address, you will have this information card and you need to click on this share button after you click on it click on this tab embed a map and as you can see this is basically generates a html element of this location which is a iframe and it has a search attribute which basically searches for this location inside the google maps and you can also adjust the size of it you can make it small medium large or you can choose a custom size let's choose medium for now i will show you how to style this in a second inside css let's click on copy html and i will paste it right under this box and let's see how it looks and as you can see we have a iframe element that shows the location we picked. And with this, we are done with the HTML. Now we can style it. Let's select the body first and make it cover the entire page by using 100 VH of minimum height. And I will make this a flex container and let's also center them using align item center and justify content center. And let's set the background color to this dark color then i will select the section make this one a flex container as well let's center the items again and i will put some gap between them using 5 em and let's set the text color to white next i will select the box which is the element that has a h1 and the paragraph inside I will set the max width to 600 pixels to make it smaller. Let's make the H1 bigger and the paragraph as well. So before I show you how to style this map as well, I will zoom out a little bit so we can see it better. To style the map, we are going to select this iframe element. So you can style this iframe like you are styling a normal element. You can change the border radius to 1EM, 2EM, or you can make it a circle by using 50%. And if you take a look at the element, it has some inline styling attributes, which is the width, height, and the style. We can delete the style for the border let's add a five pixel blue border 
Let's also delete the width and height. I can make it a square and the height 500 as well. And this will make it a perfect square. Let me show you a couple of more things. Let's make the border radius 2EM and delete the border. You can create a hover effect as well. Let's make it bigger when you hover over it and also with the transition as well. So when you hover over it, as you can see, it gets bigger. We can lower down the opacity and bring it up when you hover over it like this. As I mentioned earlier, this is just a HTML element. You can do most of the styling that you would with a normal HTML element like this. And this is how we can add a Google Maps location to your website and create a section for it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for your time and I will see you next time.